First, I want to warm us all up with a, with a melody and get our spirits uh, flowing and invite you to think about this past week. What kinds of things that you may have done over the last week that you are appreciative of? Maybe a blessing that was brought your way. Maybe something that your mother uh, has uh, given you as a gift that you want to appreciate on this uh, Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, da, 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 da. a very special story for Mother's Day, a special story for Havdalah, a special story that involved a mother with three children. But we've got to first mute everybody else because it, it uh, feeds back on uh, a Mayan. Uh, perfect. Oh, it's so nice. The story is about a mother who had three wonderful children. The oldest child was her oldest son, her second child was her daughter, and her third child was a little boy as well. The oldest son's name was Abraham. The second, the daughter, was Rebecca. And the third youngest son was Shmuley. Well, the mother was so proud of her children, but she had gone up there in age. She had become uh, very wise in her age, but she was getting up there in years and she wanted to know from her children what they had gleaned from her. What values did they hold in all their years that they had shared with their mother? What could she look at them and say, I have passed on this legacy to you. And so she brought her children together. And she asked them if they would do the following. She said, I have three completely empty rooms in our home. And I would like you to spend the next week filling each of these rooms with some kind of reminder of what I passed on to you throughout your lives. You have a week. I invite you to uh, go and uh, fill these rooms. And so each of them went out, Abraham and Rebecca and Shmuley. After a week had passed, the mother got back to the home with the, with the three children. And she said, what is it that you have brought? I am so excited to learn of each of these things. So Abraham brought his mother and uh, Rebecca and um, Shmuley to the first room. And he opened the door. And the room was filled with beautiful treasures. Absolutely beautiful things from gems and jewelry to different kinds of coins from around the world, different types of precious metals. The whole room sparkled with this beauty. And he said to his mother, Mom, 
all the years that we have been your children, we have never needed anything. You have provided for us financially. You have provided for us in everything that we absolutely needed. There was never a day that went that we needed something. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for the gifts of your generosity. Then Rebecca brought the family into the next room. And the next room, as she opened the door, was filled with books, books from all over the world, books with different kinds of languages and magazines and articles and just wisdom galore. She said, thank you, Mom. Thank you for teaching us and providing us with a great education. Thank you for enabling us to have knowledge and to acquire skills with what we know and understand about the world. Thank you for making us worldly and educated. And then Shmuley brings the family to room number three. And he opened the room and there was absolutely nothing in it. The room was dark. You could barely see. And the mom's face kind of got a little bit concerned. She thought to herself, what is this? What legacy does Shmuley see that I could have brought? And she said to Shmuley, what, I don't understand. What, what, what is it that you think that I have left for you? This room is empty. And then Shmuley reached over and he lit a candle. And the candle filled the room with beauty and filled the room with this glorious light. It just glowed and went. God, we have a light in here that's glowing. No, 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 that's good. And it glowed beautifully. And it filled the room with this beautiful light. Which movie said, thank you, Mom, for being the light of our lives. Thank you for filling us with your spirit. What you have left for us, we will cherish forever. Because while the candle will burn and lower and lower, and eventually it may burn out. The flame of your spirit will fill us forever throughout the years, beyond your years, and you will live on through us. At that moment, the whole family's eyes were filled with tears of joy and understanding. And I can say from my heart, the hearts of all of our children, Mothers leave us with all of those things. We are grateful for the wisdom and knowledge they have bestowed upon us. We are grateful for the sustenance and support they have given us throughout the years. And we are grateful for the spirit and the love that will glow in our hearts forever. As we prepare now to bid farewell to Shabbat, we'll be lighting a slightly different candle. But before we do, I'd like to move us back into our gallery view just for a minute to cherish the faces of each other and cherish the faces of each of the mothers in our community. It's so great to see everybody. And uh, my family's gonna gather here with me in just a moment. We're gonna uh, do a beautiful Havdalah service. I'm gonna change the angle of the camera uh, so we all can see each other too. But uh, as we bid farewell to Shabbat, we will do so. Let me see if I can get our, are we uh, in there again? I can't see top one. Okay. Still, Justin, can you take it off speaker mode? Yeah. Let's see. Speak oh, I see. I'm only, I'm, you can only see me. Okay, well, we'll do it this way. Sorry. Little technical difficulty there. I'm gonna put myself back down here while we uh, get the candles ready. All right. As we bid farewell to Shabbat, just as Shmuley taught us to hold on to the glow and the beauty that 
that uh, our mothers have brought to us. We hold on to the sweetness of the Sabbath with three special symbols. We hold on to the sweetness with our taste, the sweetness of wine. We hold on to the sweetness of the Sabbath with the spices. We have a special spice box. And we have a special candle as well, our Havdalah candle. I'll light it with the, the wick of Shmuley's light. And as we prepare to bid farewell to Shabbat, this beautiful glowing flame helps us remember that more than the people of Israel have kept the Sabbath, the Sabbath has kept the people of Israel. Each of these beautiful wicks come together to remind us that we are one people. Though we may be distant from social distancing or distant from distant lands, we share the beauty of the Sabbath together. So I'm going to invite my family over here. Uh, Becky, you could hold this for a moment. I'm going to move. I'm going to have Simon hold this for a moment. And Aiden. Yes. And I'm going to uh, no, get a, it. Um, wait, can you see everybody? No. Justin, can you just put it on uh, me again, please? Huh? There we go. The melody is a familiar one. We join together. As we sing the Havdalah melody and bid farewell to our Shabbat.
a good week, a week of peace and joy and productivity, connectivity with some social distancing. We wish you a happy Mother's Day, a Mother's Day that is filled with family and love, a, a call, a Zoom connection, whatever it may be. And we wish you a week of blessings. We're going to, uh, we're going to um, spend some time. I want to go back to the gallery view so as we can wish each other a Shavuot to have a good week. And uh, you can stay as long as you'd like. Uh, we are so, so blessed to be together as a community through Zoom. Shavuot to have.